It's fast. It's passionate. It's breathtaking. It's the motorcycling world as never seen before, from the inside. Our expert, Oscar Harrow, brings us closer to the heart of this exhilarating sport. He's a mechanic, technician, ex-rider and world champions manager. Let's go. Welcome to Inside Moto. Motorcycling is a sport that implies big sacrifice. Only passion gets the riders to give up many needs, just so they can be successful. Maverick Vernales began competing on a mini bike when he was only three years old. Now, at 20, he is already world champion in Moto3. Such an early career involves sacrificing an important part of life, childhood and adolescence. Alvaro Batista is also world champion in Moto3. His stunning career wouldn't have been made possible without his father's help. Motorcycling passion is in his DNA. Alongside Oscar Harrow, we meet two champions as they reveal their secrets and the importance of family support to be able to achieve success. champion Maverick Vernales, at only 20 years of age, has one of the most amazing careers in the motor racing world. To continue harvesting triumphs, Maverick follows a strict work plan. His personal trainer is who best understands this young rider's desire for victory. Today, we accompany them, alongside other riders like Jack Miller and Isaac Vernales, on their bicycle training session. Today we are in the workshop of Aki Ajo. He's the personal manager of Maverick Vinales, 2013 world champion in Moto3. Let's go and welcome to Inside Moto. We accompany Maverick Vinales on a very special day. He has a bicycle training session alongside his cousin Isaac and Jack Miller, also riders. In the afternoon, he'll be flying to Maguello, Italy. There, our champion will fight for another world championship podium. Where's my coffee? <laughs> Here. Don't prepare <laughs> coffee for me. <laughs> what do we do it today? What's the plan? Uh, we go to cycling. Cycling? But we need to hurry up now. It's late because then I need to take the flight. <laughs> He's obsessed with success. Our champion devotes 100% of his time to achieve it. He doesn't treat himself to any luxuries, any distractions. He tackled his first competition on a mini bike at only three years of age. Since then, he only has one goal, victory. What time do you start the, uh, for, uh, not the competition, the motorcycles? When I was three years old, I think. And then for, for start to really like professional and try to make, to start my career, I think 12 years. Bicycle training is essential for any rider. It's indispensable for improving physical fitness and accepting their efforts limits. Also, it allows them to slow down and enjoy the landscape. Today, we'll witness a special training session. Maverick, alongside his personal trainers, Louis Capdevila and assistant, and two other riders. Do you remember Jack Miller? I'm still alive. The Australian two-wheel prodigy, Jack Miller. Maverick's cousin and future champion, Isaac Vernales. How is it to train with top riders? Well, it's hard because they train for very strong motorbikes. To be honest, it's hard to keep up with them. Hello. Rivals on the tracks, but friends off them. Maverick shows professionalism with every decision he makes. That's why he trusts his physical fitness to one of the most renowned motorcycling personal trainers. 
He's one of the most better personal trainers you know, in this sport, in MotoGP. And many, many riders pass for his hands because he's a good preparator, he's a good quality guy. <laughs> Louis Cap Devola is the person in charge of dosing and strengthening the rider's effort. Both of their work leads only to one goal, success. We're here at the Landmark Natural Park. From here upwards, it's all natural park. We'll do a 40 kilometers ride, halfway up the mountain, with a few interesting hills, and the landscape's marvelous. You work a lot on cardiac rhythm, right? Yes, because think for a rider, although it seems he's on a motorbike and he's always in the same state, you're wrong. So he could be performing, functioning at a normal heartbeat rate, and then the bike could scare him, or if he's going to overtake someone, or if he's risking winning the race, his heartbeat rate can go up a lot. And he has to regulate, to not go over the top. If not, in the end he'll feel like he's just sprinted. It's important for them to get used to rhythm changes, to be able to go up and then come back down again. Let's put it this way, to calmness. What's their cardiac rhythm like while racing? There are people who do a lot of aerobic exercise. They have a good physical condition. So maybe they could be at 150 to 160 beats per minute while racing, no more. That's why physical fitness in general is so important so that their heartbeat rate doesn't go up too much and so that they don't wear themselves out and end up totally exhausted at the end of the race. I guess that when adrenaline levels rise and you're not physically fit, as soon as the adrenaline drops down again and you get worn out, your psychological faculties are reduced. Exactly. What's important is, if you're physically fit, you'll maintain your same technique from minute zero to minute 45, 50, or after an hour. Fitness training won't necessarily make you improve your technique, but what it will do is help keep it constant. So, having their reflexes and strengths at their highest level and everything at its best without scaling down throughout the championship this is what's important for motorcycling athletes come on where is the other one missing it's only 200 kilometers my tire went flat <laughs> What is, for example, the, the hobby from, from Maverick Vinales outside of the races? No, I mean, hobby like motocross. Work? Uh, <laughs> yeah, of course. My hobby is like the work. Also cycling, just running. Also see some movies. I think this is my hobby. I don't have so much hobby, but I have a good hobby. So finally, I enjoy a lot my life. People think it's very easy or very fun, the, the life of the motorcycle rider, you know, because uh, you training, you are riding motocross or you riding super motor. It's not so funny and it's not so easy what people think. You need to train nearly every day, you need to be an athlete. So, of course, it's difficult. You have pressure, you have uh, events, you have a lot of things that make you don't don't be relaxed no i mean you cannot be home one month you only <laughs> are at home like two days three days maximum four days and then you go again it's time to regain strengths but even so, it's essential to have a controlled diet. How important is a rider's diet? Well, diet is important for any sport. It's something that needs to be fully compensated. Depending on the rider's training hours, training days and calorie consumption. So sometimes when they train hard physically, they have to increase their diet. When they're more relaxed, well, not so much. Their diet must always be properly balanced. If you want to be the, the number one, you, you can't stop. You need to practice more than the other ones, you need to train more. So, of course, I am the rider that I need to be more than the other one. No, I need 
to be really competitive and that's one of my my good things that I'm really competitive and I never give up. Everyone has enjoyed the training session and their lunch. Maverick shows his gratitude for the other riders' company. He's used to living far from friends and family. Being far from home is hard, but it's great to be world champion. After the world, world training like this, one day of training on cycling, what is the better and the and I the think work? the hard is when you are doing, when you are quite close to finish the uphill and you need to push over the limit. So this is the hard part. It's very difficult because you don't have a family inside of the, on, the, on the team. At the end, yes, it's a good friends, whatever, but it's not like a family. All it's work, I think it's professional work, so of course you don't have family, but we try always to make a small family, you know, even we are not the same blood, but we try to be really close all the time. Like with Jack, we try to be really close in that moment when you need, like, someone to push you to to go up or don't give up we are here for win you know and yeah, only win sure. one yeah, yeah so yeah, this yeah. is the difficult part to be like a friend with a rider but then when you know that sometimes you are down and your teammate just try to don't give up i think this is really nice now he has to pack his bags and travel to italy where he'll try to win a moto gp title at the italian grand prix we trust a lot in the lab and we always use the same socks, underwear. So yes, many mean. years that you have luck, so yes. <laughs> you, go, you continue with your t-shirts with same. A rider's life isn't as much fun as others might think. Maverick's a great example of the sport's sacrifices. Far from friends and family, but very close to glory, standing on the champion's podium. Thank you so much for, because it's a great day today. I think we make a really good day. That's a normal day for me. Just make exercise and then flight. So we see Mugello. So follow us in Inside, inside Moto. Good guy.